Hi everyone, I hope everything is going well. I will demonstrate how to show and hide soft keyboard on any edit text in Android programmatically in today's lecture. Okay, so in order to receive the most recent notifications from my channel, I would like to urge anyone, everyone to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon before I continue. Okay, so uh, you know that there seems to be quite a variety of ways of showing and hiding the soft keyboard uh, however the way that I will going to teach you uh, is the best way and will work in every Android version okay so first of all I will uh, just create a button here in my XML and uh, in edit text okay which will be able to uh, to allow the keyboard to uh, open okay so here I'm creating a button with width and height wrap content and text is show okay show height okay and uh, I'll put here some constraints start to start off parent and to end off parent and uh, stop to top off parent and margin top will be just 20 dp just for the some some minor designing okay so after this here i will change this text view to edit text so yeah uh, i forgot to add the id to this button so here i am giving the id btn show hide okay and uh, here on the edit text i will give the id et input okay always remember to uh, use camel uh, snake case here in while uh, defining the ids in the exam this is a good practice okay however uh, uh, so i make this match parent maybe okay so margin is 20 dp okay okay so now in my main activity i will put the click listener on this button okay choosing this id button show height so here i will write the id btn show height okay so if in case you are unable to access your xml ids here in your kotlin uh, file so here is a very simple step to do this just open your module level build gradle and you will have to add these two uh, plugins here okay and then you uh, should sync the project after uh, a successful sync you will be able to use your ids here okay so whenever you will use any any id it will automatically import the xml okay here and so here i will put uh, a click listener okay inside this click listener uh, see uh, i have just one button here so i want it to uh, open and close on the same button click okay so for that i will create here a flag where flag is equal to false okay so so uh, let's say that whenever the flag is false or or i make it true okay so whenever the flag is true this button should show the keyboard soft keyboard Okay, and whenever this flag is false so this button should hide the soft keyboard okay so I will put here if else okay if flag is true so it will show keyboard okay and in else it will hide keyboard okay but uh, after the if uh, uh, statement means the after the uh, at the end of this if if statement i will make this flag false okay so first time it will uh, whenever i will click this button this will execute if statement okay so after execution of if statement the flag will become false so uh, on the next click on this button it will not execute this because this flag is not true Okay, this is false so it will run this else part so we can put our uh, soft key hiding uh, uh, code here okay in else okay 
so let's proceed with showing the soft keyboard here okay so first of all i will need a request focus on this edit text okay et input so i will write here the id et input and dot request focus okay after this i will put a post delay on this edit text because if you if you will just put here the code for showing the edit text without a post delay uh, this may be possible that your keyboard uh, soft keyboard won't be visible okay won't open okay so et input dot post delay okay so here i will open the body and uh, i will write here when keyboard input method manager is equal to get system service context input input method service okay as see this is uh, giving in the error it is not uh, knowing the it, it does not know the type of this so i will uh, mask this as input method manager okay okay now i will write this statement keyboard dot show soft input and it requires two things first is the view it means the edit text id and the second one is flex which we will not give we will give just zero so here i will give the id et input and comma zero okay and here i will give a delay of 300 okay so this will show the soft keyboard in any android version okay so this is the best code that you can ever consume okay and now come to hiding the keyboard so hiding the keyboard is also very simple and uh, the method that i will teach you will work will also work on every android version okay okay so first of all i will have to get the current view of this uh, activity so i will uh, uh, define a very uh, well uh, current view is equal to this great main activity dot current focus okay sorry uh, i'll name it as current focus okay now i will define a uh, method manager okay is equal to and uh, system service context dot input method service okay as uh, see uh, if you want to uh, write uh, if you want to uh, mask this to this type so you can put it here okay so i will define it okay so now we will have to check that uh, the current focus is not null Okay, this current focus that we have get is not null so we will put an if statement we can put if statement and also we can put is it okay is it also checks the boolean so current focus not equal to null okay so this statement uh, can't be bypassed if this current focus is null okay so if it not null if it is not null so uh your control statement will be move to the next statement okay so here okay method manager dot hide soft input okay from window and here i will give current focus dot window token comma input method manager dot hide not always okay okay so in this way you can hide the keyboard and in this way you can show the keyboard okay soft keyboard and you 
also don't have to define any kind of uh, properties here okay so this method would work fine okay so let's test this code okay so here you can see that i have a button show height and uh, below it uh, i have this edit text okay so whenever i will click this button show so first of all it will run the if statement and it will show the keyboard okay so i will now press again this button this show hide button so the next time it will execute the else part and it will hide the keyboard okay so in this way you can achieve this so if you have liked my video so i will again urge everyone to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon uh, for the latest updates thank you so much